to you with a question. And I think this is a good question. Are you shaken? Wow. Are you shaken? So, Father, I pray that we understand these times and the season that we're in. I pray that we understand that we can do more things in you than we can do outside of you. But this is a time of shaking and quaking. And you want to ask your people today, are they shaken? We thank you, Father, for the answer. And I pray, Father, that after this message, people's answer might be changed. In Jesus' name, amen. It was really interesting about this topic. The first thing I had when I was, you know, praying about what to bring, the first thing I heard was fire. I'm like, a fire? What, 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 what do you mean by fire? And I went over to James 3, where it talks about our tongue. James uh, 3 and 5, our tongue is a fire. You know, you can have this big old ship and it's sailing and and you know the this tongue that we have is unruly we can't really handle it we get shaken by everything we're getting shaken by the news we're getting shaken by the words people saying we're, we're, we're just shaken we're shaken because of COVID I mean people will lose their mind and lose their tongue if your mask is right here how are they gonna lose their mind because like you want to breathe <laughs> and they, 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 the people are shaking. And I'm not just talking about like worldly folk. I'm talking about all folk shaken, shaken by sickness, shaken by the, the disease that's happened, shaken by just life. And God really wants to know, are, are you shaken? Are you shaken in this time, in this season? If I, I went over and I said, well, that fire on the tongue, that's pretty good, but that's not moving me. It's not getting me excited. Because if I'm, you know, I, if you don't know it by now, I'm kind of an excited person. I'm not one of those kind of preachers just kind of down. If I'm not excited about it, if I ain't feeling it, you ain't going to feel it. So, you know, I, fire was good. I like that. I like the fire, but it didn't really get me with the tongue. And I went down to James 5 and 3. I said, maybe I heard it wrong. Maybe I had it like twisted. You know, sometimes you listen to God and you get things kind of twisted. And then I read about, you know, I start, heard the fire. I knew I heard fire. Then it was talking about treasure on fire. I said, there's that fire again. So now he's burning up your stuff. Are you going to be shaking if your stuff burn? You ain't going to be able to get nothing under the tree. You're not going to be able to buy that new thing you wanted. He, he's going to shake your treasure. He's going to burn it. He, he's, he's coming after your mouth and he's coming after your stuff. So if, you're, if, if he's coming after your mouth and your stuff, are you going to be shaken? Are you going to be shaken in this time when God wants to, like, change some stuff around? You know, life and death is in the power of the tongue. We, we know that. We know that from Proverbs, that, that the things we say that, we, that we're going to do, the things that we talk about, the things that we want to purchase and hold on to, that was really good. But that still didn't get me. I was like, what is it? What, what is it? And then I turned, I, I turned back really just a little bit. And I was like, why is this fire? And I read Hebrews. I'm going to read it to you. This is what got me. The words still once more revealed the removal of what is shaken. And then when I heard that, I'm like, ooh, the things that are a part of this creation so that it isn't what isn't shaken will remain. And so these things that are in creation, your mouth, your tongue, the thing that you get, God is, is saying that these things are going to be burned. These things are going to be shaken. These things are going to be shaken. And why? It's not so that, like, he wants to destroy you. It says this is why. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us continue to be grateful. Let us continue to have gratitude. Let us continue to serve. Let us continue to please God. Let us continue to be in all of him. Let us continue to, to respect him. You want to use that tongue? You want to get some things? The things that you can get that will not be shaken is the kingdom of God. When you get the kingdom of God on the inside of you, man, people can cough in your face and you ain't going to be shaken. They can snatch your car keys and you ain't going to be shaken 
because you know there's something on the inside that cannot be shaken. Why? This is why. This is the fire that got me. Because our God in reality is a consuming fire. If you get the consuming fire of God, nothing that is in this creation is going to shake you. You're not going to be shaken because you lose your job. You're going to say, well, God, you burnt that up. Well, what's coming? You, you're going to get mad because your, your husband or wife loses their mind. Now you ain't going to be shaken. You're going to say, God, I know you're going to straighten this out because I know what you joined together. Nothing's going to separate. See, you've got to have that consuming fire in God. So no matter what the enemy does, you're not going to be shaken. You're not going to be shaken. You cannot shake me. You cannot shake me of my faith. Yes, I get down sometimes, but it's not long that I'm up simply because of this. The promises of God are yes and amen. And I get so excited because I know if I have a promise, or my problems, I'm not going to be shaken. So you have to remember that God is a consuming fire. He's going to burn off all of that stuff. It doesn't really matter. The election really doesn't matter. What's four years? It's all going to go to hell anyway. We know it's going to get worse. So why not get ready for, for the persecution by, by standing in the kingdom? Why not put your kingdom clothes on? Why not begin to speak those things that are, that are just ugly and dying and speak life to it? See, we, we have to understand in the time of depression or, or in the time of pestilence, in the time of burning, in the time of fire, God's got a safe place. He's got a safe place for those who are in the kingdom and those that are in the kingdom what ain't shaking so I'm, I'm telling i'm telling you i got so excited because i realize that if god is for me y'all know the rest i ain't gonna tell y'all the rest if y'all don't know the rest i'm gonna make y'all look it up that's your homework assignment <laughs> we, we, we can't be shaken because in christ things can look bad and believe you me i've had a lot of bad situations a lot of bad situations, but how I got out of them is looking up at the promise instead of looking down at my problem. COVID, I understand people are losing lots of things, but if you don't think God is able to keep you, keep you when you have slipped, when, when you almost hit the ground, but he said he will keep you from falling falling into the into the hands of the enemy you may be under attack and you may be very oppressed right now but i'm telling you if you would actually believe the promises of god for your life and if you don't know any other promise this is one that you can keep that will keep you at this time i will never leave you or forsake you if you would remember that it could be the darkest hour it could be the darkest time, but knowing that God is with you can hold you in the fire. And that might not, that might seem very Christianese, but I can tell you, you can be in a dark place. And if you have the peace of God, it will surpass all understanding. People won't even understand why you're not shaken. People at my job, they don't understand why I'm not shaken. I'm the happiest girl. Well, I'm an introvert. So stay at home is like really cool for me. I'm like, shut down America. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I could do this little TV thing. I ain't got to touch nobody, lay hands on nobody. I can tell you right here, God is with you. And I say, boom, and you fall out in the spirit. I'm good like that. You know, I'm not shaking because I know I'm not in your presence, but I know the spirit of God is. So no matter where I am and where my mouth goes, because I know life and death is where? Right here in my mouth. And when we send the angels of the Lord out, I don't have to go traveling around the country and around the world because God is able to keep you where you are through this television, through this screen, through the telephone, because it's not about me touching you. It's not about the pastor touching you. It's about God touching you. So if you don't want to be shaken, have an experience with God. Begin to get to know this God of consuming fire because he will change your tongue and he will change the things 
so that none of these things move me. So I ask you, are you shaken or are you burning? I pray that you burn for the Lord. Because I tell you, if you burn for God, I promise you, I promise you. What is this, a Girl Scout? I don't know how it goes, but this is my sign, wisdom. Hey, I promise you, I promise you, if you trust God, you will not be shaken. Because he will hold you in the storm. He will hold you in the storm. When you think you don't have anything else, some a bird will come and drop it in, in you. And if you have to go through it, he's trying to strengthen something. If you don't go to the gym, let me tell you this. I'm going to I'm gonna close on this. When you go into the gym, you go lift weights. And you're going to be a punk if you're going to go in there and just lift five pounds. You ain't never going to get stronger. The reason why he's not taking it off of you, he don't want you to be a punk. Get some weight on there so that you can get stronger. Why? So you ain't shaking. God don't want no punk soldiers. He wants some man up, woman up soldiers that's going to fight for the king. So you can't be shaken. Because if this is shaking you, it's going to get worse, baby. <laughs> it's going to get worse. So you better dig in this next year. You better get some foundation in God. You, 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 you have to get past the little elementary things. It says you got to get past the, the milk and start eating some meat. Because once you get the meat, I, I eat steak. <laughs> I don't want no happy meal. I want a steak because I want to be held by God and know that I won't be shaken. I said I was going to do one more thing. So I'm going to close because, you know, pastors be having 15 closes. <laughs> I'm going to close. God, we thank you. <laughs> we thank you God, that you are consuming fire. You're burning off the things in your people, all of this wasted stuff, all the wasted programs. You're, you're burning it off. We, you don't need those programs. You said you hate our holidays because we're not really worshiping you. You're going to burn it up, burn it up, burn it up. By God, you're making us into something. You said a bride without spot or wrinkle. So I pray that we understand we've got to be strong in you that these weapons that are forming, God, they're forming to clean us up, to strengthen us up so that we can lift the weight with you. Because the burden that you give us is very light. I pray if someone here under the sound of my voice doesn't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, as the one that will keep you from shaking, it says all that call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you have to say is Jesus. Jesus, that's how they said in some places. <laughs> I believe that you're my Lord and Savior. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. It, it doesn't take a whole bunch of flips and, and, and hell marriage. You ain't got to do, just say, Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. I have done wrong. You ain't got to be using all these big up. <laughs> Take me. It's not that deep. <laughs> Jesus will hear. If you just say, help, I believe you, Jesus, he'll come. Because he doesn't want you to be shaken. So I pray that you accept Jesus. Because with him, you have the consuming fire. I hope you got something out of this. And I hope you will not be shaken. Because <laughs> it's going to get worse. <laughs> Figured I'd get end on a good note. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Crack me up.